Yeah! What is going on guys? My name is Deza and uh, today I'm going to be talking about a bit of a personal uh, passion of mine and that is uh, Minesweeper. Um, I know a bunch of you have just seen this game on your desktop, just on your work computer or whatever, school computer, and being like, alright, what is this? You open it up, you look at it and you're completely clueless, no idea what's going on, close it and never really open it again. But I bet part of you has always been curious, you know, what on earth is this and how do I play it? Or maybe you're like me, you always have a game or something open on your phone and uh, Minesweeper is perfect for that. You know, you can always get a game or two in on the bus to school, on the train to work, whatever you're doing. Uh, just a, a really quick, uh, easy and like low commitment uh, thing to do while you're, you're waiting, you know. Uh, Minesweeper is very, very satisfying for that so I feel like it's it's worth picking it up learning it and uh, giving it a go so today I'm gonna teach you the rules and also some uh, really basic tips to uh, just sort of uh, teach you how to more consistently clear boards how to have a way better chance than you would do normally uh, to complete levels and also just how to play the game basically if you don't know how to do that uh, so right here I'm just on the default Windows 7 uh, Minesweeper I think the Windows 10 Minesweeper looks pretty similar but we're just gonna start off with the absolute basic 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 rules here so you see whenever you click a square it'll either be empty like these there'll be a number in it or there'll be a mine underneath it. So first things first, let's look at the numbers. A really, really good place to start is ones on the corners. So you see how this here is a one, everything else around it is empty, other than this one tile here. So we know for a fact that there's a mine there, and because this one here has one mine next to it, we can clear all of the other spaces around it. So this is a two, and we know for a fact that this, so we know that there's two mines in the surrounding area, only two things so we can clear we can put a flag there and since there's another two here we can clear out all of the spaces around it so there's another one here uh, because it was an empty space clicking an empty space reveals all of the connected empty spaces and it's revealed a lot more of the board so we can just go through here super basically clear out all of the ones that we know for a fact are uh, mines get rid of that and uh, as you can see now we're kind of stuck and this is where some of those uh, basic rules come into play I'm going to teach you about two very very simple things and those are the 121 and the 1221 now I'm here on paint so you can tell how serious I am and these are the two basic formations you want to keep in mind these basic formations and subtraction, which I will talk about later. Uh, but basically, the rules of the one two one and the one two two one. There are more rules like this, but these are these are the two you need to get started and to you know finish those basic boards. Uh, what this is is if you see a one two one like this, uh, it doesn't matter if there's like another number here or if there's a, another tile here, anything like that, what matters is if you see a 121 like this, pro oh, sorry, provided if there's, you know, another mine here, or, you know, there isn't a mine here or a mine here, you see a 121, what you do is you put a mine there, and you also put a mine there. That's all you need. These will This will always be true. So 121 means mine blank mine. And then you can clear this two and move on from there. And with a one, two, two, one, what that means is the mine will always be here and here. So that means it's always blank, mine, mine, blank. And these are two very, very simple rules that will get you through a lot of boards and will help you out a lot when it just comes to clearing. Now, if we go back to Minesweeper here, we're going to learn about subtraction. So I talked about those one two ones and there's one two two ones, but there's nothing, you know, there's no one two one, there's no one two two one, is there? But subtraction, very very important. 
if you see any number of mines near a number, you take the number of mines away, and that's that number's like actual number, that true number. So we see here, these. this is a bunch of twos, but if we look at the mines near them, we can see that uh, there's a mine here, so I take away one here, because there's one connected mine, so that's a one. Same here, this is also a one. And because this is a one, two, one, because of subtraction, we can actually uh, mark both of these and we know for a fact that this is a clear area. And that's that will get you through a lot of boards right there, just knowing that. And, uh, ooh, nice. Just knowing how the one, two, one, one, two, two, one works and how subtraction works will help you out immensely. Now another thing, uh, most apps, games, if you're on uh, like PC, everything will have this, but it's called cording. But how cording works basically is if you're on PC, uh, you either want to hold right click and press left click and it will clear all of, as long as there is exactly the number of mines nearby, so this is a two, it will clear all of the mines around that square. So here there's three, there's three mines. I hold right click and press left click and it will cord, it will clear all of the mines around it. Another way of doing this is pressing middle mouse button. Uh, and it will, oops, <laughs> don't do what I just did, but it will speed up your clears immensely. Just uh, being able to cord, super duper useful. And it's in basically every app I've used. It's in, you know, minesweeper.io, all of the little games and that sort of thing. Uh, and it just it just makes clearing boards just a lot faster if you use uh, flags that is um, yeah these are basically just some of the basics I'm gonna go through a few boards and uh, show them to you uh, as I go through and clear so you know this is just me cording it's just me going through basic logic so you know two here there's only two connected tiles that was a one two one, so we knew for a fact that that was uh, free. I'm just going to go through. Use absolutely nothing but the bare basics to go through and clear a few boards or get as close as I can. Because the thing with my sweeper is sometimes uh, there will, you know, there is randomness involved. Sometimes there is no way of knowing. Uh, it's either going to be between one of two tiles and that is called a 50 50 and those are kind of inevitable when you play minesweeper you're going to get some 50 50 sometimes and the best thing to do when you come to a 50 50 is if you can't clear your way to it just get it out of the way as soon as possible uh, so that if it if you get it wrong you can just move on to the next board uh, and you know that you don't waste time uh, if you can clear to it, you know, you should do that. Never want to take 50-50s if you can avoid it. And yeah, I'm just going to go through a few boards here. And clear as much as I can. There's a one 2 2 one again. Doesn't matter in that situation, but you know, it's a matter of noticing those patterns and getting them uh, drilled into your head. Another really useful thing is this three against the flat wall here. You can always mark all three of those. Uh, very quick and easy way of getting rid of a bunch of tiles. And here we go. So this is subtraction again. There's a three here, so three, two, two. But since there's two tiles connected, this becomes a one. And there's one mine connected here, this becomes a one. So we know this is a one, two, two. Uh, this is a one, two, one. And we can actually clear it out. And this allows us to progress on with the uh, solve, which is really nice. You see how most of the time you get stuck there and you'd have to make a guess and maybe not clear the board. But uh, just thanks to you know super duper basic rules like the 121 and the 1221, uh, you will be able to clear way more boards than you would normally. Okay, so here, you know, the 121 and the 1221 doesn't apply. There are other rules that uh, do apply, but uh, I honestly, I don't know them. <laughs> and you don't need to know them in order to clear boards. But here we're gonna have to take a guess at some point so I've just decided to take my guess there uh, and I just happen to be right and in the end 
sometimes you do need to get lucky to clear a minesweeper board. Uh, but once you know, you know these absolute basics, you will be able to clear so many more boards than you would before. I accidentally opened Windows Help, and yeah. Uh, my super is really fun. As I said, it's it's really great, like on the way to work or on the way to school. Uh, just there's something to to do to pass the time. You know, I recommend. Uh, my Super Collector on Android. It's actually a lot of fun. Uh, and just, even if you just get a basic, uh, you know, My Super Classic or whatever, it's just a lot of fun. That was the 1 2 1 again. That's how I knew I could clear that because it was 1 2 1. Uh, and like, just as you play more and as you, just as you do it more, you'll notice these patterns like quicker and quicker every time. And, uh, you know, it becomes really fun just to be able to blitz through all of these boards and just, um, you know, it, it looks pretty impressive, especially if someone doesn't know how to play Minesweeper and you're going through and, like, you're seemingly just randomly clicking things and speeding through all of these. Uh, you know, it looks... <laughs> it might look like a massive nerd, but also people might be like, oh, whoa, that's so cool, how'd you do that? And you can you can tell them about the 121 and the 1221 and they'll be like, oh my god. Uh, and yeah, uh, this is Minesweeper, basically. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial. Uh, if you're interested in learning more, make sure you check out the Minesweeper wiki, which is a, a real thing. And there is also sort of like a uh, a mini um, a mini like speedrunning community sort of. You can upload uh, replays to the website using different clients, such as a uh, Minesweeper Arbiter and um, Minesweeper X, that sort of stuff. Um, but the only difference between those clients and just the regular default stock Windows 10, Windows 7 clients is that they can uh, they can share replays. Uh, the basic these basic rules of Minesweeper, uh, the one two one, the one two two one will apply no matter where you're playing it, whether you're playing like Minesweeper IO or if you're using an app or anything. These basic rules, the 121, the 1221, subtraction, and even cording on most apps uh, will apply. And so you can use them uh, wherever you're playing Minesweeper. So hopefully uh, this has helped get some people into the game. Or I helped you be a little less bored at work or at school. Because now you can open this up and actually uh, give it a shot. And yeah, uh, I've been Deezer. And this has been uh, a little passion project of mine. Love me some Minesweeper. And I hope you all enjoy it. Don't know if I'm going to be making more Minesweeper tutorials. But I am going to be clearing this board, baby. And I will speak to you guys again soon. I hope you enjoy it.